The Minister for Information, Kojo Pongkroma, says that government welcomes the change in the nation's economic outlook from stable to positive by the Moody's Ratings Agency. At a news conference in Accra, he said the economic management team is pleased at this outlook change and is committed to do more. Kojo Pongkroma said the ratings by Moody is as a result of the consequence of the reforms undertaken under the IMF program. He said the government will strive to improve its ranking in the Corruption Perception Index and Global Corruption Barometer. The government of Ghana welcomes the change in the nation's economic outlook from stable to positive by the Moody's Rating Agency. The economic management team is very pleased at this outlook change and commits to do more of the things that have ensured that we are now on this path. The change in outlook is a very important development, especially in the context of our ratings history over the years. Thorough investigations, he said, have also been conducted on corruption allegations against appointees under the MPP administration by the relevant institutions, coupled with the digitization of the ports, DVLA, passport office, among others. Though pressures and risks remain generally, and this is evident in some of the revenue challenges, um, some of the arrears that still exist, some of the contingent liabilities, particularly in the energy sector that we have spoken about, though all of these exist, it is quite clear that the current levels of stability that have been recorded, growth, and the closing inequality give confidence to all, including the global economic watchers. On the ambulances, he said, the president will be commissioning them following the completion of training of paramedics and fitting of tracking devices. Clearance has also been given for the recruitment of 575 emergency medical technicians, some of them drivers and other ancillary services, out of which over 400 have already been recruited and trained. The initial deployment of EMT staff are drawn from this about 450 and some previous staff, and an additional 900 staff have received clearance to be recruited. President Kofu Addo will be commissioning the ambulances on Tuesday, January 28.